paints and glitter and today I'm coming to you with a project share of this absolutely beautiful mini album that I want to share with you guys. I just completed it and I had begun this mini album because I got this uh, fun paper collection that I was working with and I decided to mix it up a bit. Uh, this is a mini album that I'm going to uh, let you know how big it is. It measures 8 inches wide and it measures just under 6 inches tall. Um, so it's, got, it's going to have a lot of room for pictures and just to show you the spine, it is just under 3 inches tall as far as the spine is concerned. So I'm going to walk you through it. And first of all, I just want to tell you this is uh, this was so much fun to make. I'm super excited about this mini album because I wanted to showcase all of the different elements that I'm able to put into a mini album. Uh, as far as just whimsy, just this is a fun mini album where you can store all of your happy memories. Um, it's as you can tell, ultra feminine. That's what I was going for also. I made all of the flowers on the front of this cover with the exception of this little bud here which is velvet so it's going to be fun to you know have that texture there to touch the little leaf and then this rolled rose here which is made of ribbon. All of the other flowers that you see on that cover I made myself with different elements, different papers and even the stippling that you see there I added that to the vellum which is what I used to make that um, this here if you hear that it's nice sturdy um, chipboard okay so this element here I did back it up um, and then it also has this die back here that's more lacy um, intricate and I added the gold ribbon as well as this edge die here that has little hearts which you can only see here really at the bottom but um, I added a pearl sprig and the paper in the background actually has pencils um, but you know I got a little happy with the flowers so oh and then on the top here this does have more dimension as far as the butterfly and behind it, the cam in the center of the camera I did uh, enamel it and add some glitter and then I enameled the butterfly and added um, some glitter to it as well so that way it would be nice and shimmery. I love the little polka dot paper on the spine and I'll show you the back. I continued on. I don't like to leave my mini albums unfinished. I typically finish them off actually with my information on the back, whether it be on the top or bottom, wherever. But as you can tell, it's got that gold ribbon here and then that beautiful trim there, um, which is still, it's paper, but it's got those hearts on it. So that's the cover, okay? And it opens like so. I'm going to show you, probably try to pan it so I can fit everything in here, but this is the inside of the front cover. And as you can tell, I made a shaker. And it says, your life is your story, write well, edit often. <laughs> and that does open up to leave room for a picture. So I did add the little ribbon here. I topped it off with the gold sequin bow. And as you can tell, I filled that baby up with a lot of sequins in there. It's got pinks, it's got golds, it's got... Um, some of them are translucent, some are more fuchsia uh, in color and white. Uh, the paper, as you can tell, is the um, black and white. It's got some uh, polka dot at the bottom there, but it's striped like a notebook um, stripe. And then um, I also layered that on top of a pink and black, pink, I'm sorry, pink and white polka dot, and then layered that on top of an embossed uh, black and white paper that's a bit distressed there on the edges. So. Um, and then the background there, as you can tell, is that beautiful floral yellow. Um, there is washi in some of the uh, of the pages there, just uh, to add a little bit of shine. Um, and this page, this front page here, as you can tell, 
um, has this piece of ephemera that I have glossied up and it looks like uh, milk glass. I absolutely love that. So I went ahead and added all of those little dots for you so that, let me see if I can get that closer. See that? It actually looks like milk glass. It's so pretty. It says beautiful. It's got the rose. It has the um, this die here that I added a gem to and as you can tell I cut it out in gold and then that's backed up with a piece of vellum with gold. Um, all of the pages open the same. What I did was that I tried to add elements that would be fun to play around with that you had to peek through, kind of find out how does this work with what, you know, that sort of thing. Um, here I added a little brad with flower, a flower and as you can tell it does move a tiny bit. Um, and then these little pieces of ephemera. This has been punched as a scallop edge. And then this page opens like so. There is an element here that you could use to either write on, add a picture to, however you like, or you could add your picture to the base. That's got the beautiful butterflies there. And then that page opens up to allow room for a very large picture there. And you could flip it over and either journal or add a secondary picture that will also fit inside. And they all slide in the same way, okay? So that's page one. The second page here, I had so much fun with. Um, I love this um, combination of gray and yellow. So what I did was to play off of that, I went ahead and added this element here. And I'm gonna just set this down for a second to show you this one. It's got the golden bow here that I added a uh, dimensional button. This is uh, like an antique button. Uh, that has the blue-gray um, to match the paper. I printed this out with my Silhouette Cameo and that's one of the digital um, elements of this, the one of the collections that I use. And it says, with all my heart, um, this moves because of the way that I added it here. Um, oh, and I also painted gold on some of the edges. So that is gold paint. Um, it's got a vellum piece there and then it has sorry I was a little out of frame has that piece that I did emboss with the heart there and that's got the polka dots so um, that fits inside of this page that you can see and it has the um, the other gray paper and then what I did here was that I stickled the flower to give it some shine and then I added the little love ephemera Another piece, another, sorry, die cut in the background here with the polka dots to play off of the uh, the polka dots here. And then some gems and pearls, of course. Oh, and back here are some little blue flowers and that's another piece of ephemera that I glittered up there. On to this page here. I kept this one quite simple. Um, it does have the little edge here that has the uh, little loop-de-loop -loop is, is what I call them. And then I added a pink tag with a polka dot um, little um, brad and the ephemera that says kindness and love and this adorable little deer, if you can tell there. I went ahead and added glossy accents to the little bits there that I thought should stand out and then popped that on top of a stitched circle, that on top of a, a heart circle and um, then just added a, an element here where you could add either a picture or journal, whichever one, and that's got the pink gingham and the page has, they're all finished, just so, so you know, they're finished on the inside and out, okay? So you see that? Um, and these papers were so, so fun because of all the different colors. That's what really just inspired me. Um, and uh, again, you guys are probably very familiar with the paper collections. I try to combine as much as possible there that I just, you know, really liked and try to come up with my own thing. Here, I went ahead and I started off with the swan paper in the background. And then instead of, um, not all of the elements will come off the page. This one I adhered onto the base. It does still have that little scallop edge there, um, but what I did was I created a little closure here. 
So I painted that in gold, added a little black brad, and then I did the same thing again with the ephemera where I did um, glossy it up so that it looked like milk glass, and then I added another piece of ephemera back here. Um, actually, there's quite a few. <laughs> I layered and layered and layered. And then I added this little ribbon so you can open it, but you do have to unlock it first. And then this opens up like so. And you could add two small pictures there because this is smaller, but you also have a, a, a little bit of room here to add another one. And that one's got the cute little swan in black to match that. So depending on how you look at it, it's matching the page. Um, and it has those fun little elements. So on the opposite page here, we have another little insert. The ephemera down here says um, Monarch and then May 18th through 19th. It's kind of like a little poster. I added a wooden butterfly and the leaves that I printed out back here. Um, then on the flap here, I added this beautiful rose that I glimmered up. As you can tell, that's completely stickled. I added another butterfly and then I made this little butterfly uh, by making two butterflies with matching paper. I added the golden beads and then in between the stack layers there is actually tulle. So that's got some texture there. It opens up like so and as you can see this fits in here and I'm allowing for the person who gets the mini album to make the decision. Do they want to adhere it? Do they want to switch up, you know, whatever they like? So that gives you some freedom to make it your own. This opens up like so, and because I love butterflies, I stamped that background to um, just give it a little whimsy and um, use the pink and black, and then I also uh, embossed the lace there. So if you see that, that's actually all, it looks like real lace, but it's actually a stamp. And it is embossed, so it's nice and shiny. So. I'm going to try to fit that back in here and they all fit very smoothly. I just have no depth perception. <laughs> okay, so there's that page. Now this page here has, um, it, you might recognize this shape because I've been using these a lot lately and I just love that. Um, I made um, a uh, die cut there with the pretty bow that I also added shimmer to and that of course fits back here but I didn't just leave the page plain what I did was that I added this little banner and I made it match the colors by layering different colors onto that banner and then I added this beautiful teacup ephemera which I glimmered up and then I also added enamel dots to it so it's got quite a bit of texture there that's on top of an embossed, uh, dry embossed cir stitch circle. And then another piece of ephemera that says happy memories. Um, so you could add a picture there or journaling, of course. Um, this page here has, and here you can see the spread there. So you can kind of see how the colors tie in with one another. If there's pink and black on this side, then I try to repeat that over here. Um, this one I added a gold ribbon to. It's got that same little loop um, edge. And then for this, uh, I added a little bird here and I used the paper collection. Um, and then I made this clip which slides off. So this is one of those. Let's see if I can get this off properly. I'm going to have to put the ribbon or the tool back on. It came off, <laughs> but I can fix that. The little tool bow just came off, but here we go. So that little piece here I made with two little banners and I just embellished that with that cute little bow. Um, so that holds this page in uh, or closed and then that opens up this way. It's got the flowers there and then this one fits inside with the little birds and then I stapled the adore sentiment there. So there's still room there for pictures. Um, and I'm going to put this one back in here. And then as you can see this slides right on here. 
and I'm going to try to do it. I'm, I'm kind of seeing things backwards here a little bit, but here we go. That slides there. And I'm going to have to put that bow back on there because it did come off. But I can fix that. All right, so on to the next page. And this one I love, love, love. And it does say love. <laughs> I made this banner and I love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I used this uh, black and white thread that I have, or twine, I should say. Um, and the one of the paper collections had this love, um, and it you you had to cut it out in the little V's. So I, that lent itself, of course, to inspire me to make the banner. And then what I did was I cut these little cotton pieces with a die. And then I made sure to fray the uh, edges and I also added Distress Oxide ink to them to, um, and then glued them all together like so. And then the little stars here I added last. Um, and then this piece here slips behind it. It's got the bows and that stippled edge there. And then I added a little sentiment that says Dreaming of Flowers and Sunshine. And that's part of the uh, ephemera, of course. Um, so that slides in like so. And I try to make it sturdy, but, you know, it's this is not for children. <laughs> Just to let you know, don't give this to a small child. Um, because it's quite delicate, too. This page is probably one of my favorite ones. And for two reasons. I love the color yellow with black, and I also love butterflies. So I went ahead and made two little banners there to incorporate those and I bling them out in the center and I added this beautiful blue uh, ribbon because it matched this color combination here and then here what I did was that I made this little um, um, insert of course uh, and it's got the butterfly. It's simple, it's soft, but it allows room for pictures and then it matches that background paper so beautifully that's got the that the little pretty flowers and then this insert of course opens like so allowing for more pictures and there's the back okay so that's that one and I tried to make sure that everything had um, you know similar elements throughout so on to the next one, and I think you can tell this is a different scallop than the little loops, so I try to switch it up. Okay. This page here has the same type of element where, you know, it's a fold out, um, but I did adhere this one to the background. Um, and what I did was I made a floral collage here with different elements that I also stickled up um, and just popped one on top of another, that sort of thing. Um, and then there's room there for a picture. Um, and then on this side here, um, I went ahead and added these two pieces to um, just uh, complete the page there. Um, and I, I layered them so that it would look like two little stamps almost. Um, that comes out like this, and it's got these colors. I'm sorry if I'm out of frame there. So that's that one, nice and soft. And then this element here that fits inside, I went ahead and made a little camera for. So that's quite dimensional there, if you can tell. I used the paper collection to make that little camera. Then I added some little ribbon here and the sentiment there. And then this back here has the stitching and everything, but it's, you know, I left it inside of the same piece of, uh, so that way it wouldn't come out. And then it opens this way. So that fits in this page. And let's see, this fits right back in here. Okay. So that one goes like that. And uh, yeah, our last page is mostly yellow in the background, as you can tell, two different kinds of yellow there. 
I added another little teacup that's been enameled there and glittered up. There's the gold washi um, and then another flip element here to add pictures or journaling. The sentiment there reads dreaming of flowers and following on that this one has the uh, black background with floral on top and then I made this little clock and I added the little gems on the, you know, to note the hours there. Um, and I glittered up the little wings. And that one says, uh, her heart was a secret garden. Um, and it's just plain on the inside to allow for pictures. And it fits, it kind of tucks right behind that little doily there. Um, and the very last page has a beautiful quote from uh, Robin Williams, who we miss so dearly. Um, and that's from Dead Poets Society. So I wanted to use this because I, I just, I don't know. Uh, he holds a special place in my heart. So uh, when I saw that paper collection had that quote, I think that's one of the reasons that I even purchased it, to be honest. So I made another little camera here with the floral um, paper. I made sure that it was nice and glimmery. And then I added these little pink gems at the bottom. Another layer here to add interest of the black paper on top of the scallop edge and that flips up and allows you to have plenty of room there for either a picture or a note that you may want to give to the recipient if this will be a gift. And that's it. That is the end of that album. Um, of course, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that that little bow stays. <laughs> but if you're interested, please reach out to me. This will be listed and um, I'm trying to get the word out for my Etsy site. Um, some of you are familiar with Etsy. If you're not, it's just an easy way to get information out there or, you know, goodies that are handmade. If you're interested, please reach out to me. I will be listing it, as I said. If not, you can definitely email me. You can find me at paintsandglitter at gmail.com. And if you have trouble um, finding my YouTube videos, um, Please uh, let me know because I noticed that for some reason my older YouTube name was showing up still and I don't know why because I do have, uh, it should be paints and glitter. Um, but in any case, feel free to email me and I'm so happy if you stuck around to watch the entire video. Let me know what you think. Please like and share. If it's not your style, I completely understand, but it might be something to the liking of a friend. So if you could share it. I'd be most grateful and I hope that you've been inspired and